Hey guys, I'm going to show my file server. This is basically it. It's this huge case, but if you look inside, it's a fairly small motherboard. I just got this case because it can hold 10 hard drives, um, plus has some extra room if I want to uh, mount more in the future. Right now I have five uh, two terabyte drives in there and a RAID Z1, which is essentially like a RAID 5. Um, ZFS just has a lot of different options. I also have on there an SSD added into that RAID um, Z pool, so um, that just adds to the read performance of that Z pool. There's an SSD in there, like a 40 gig. If you look down here, the boot drive is right there. It's a little USB stick that's attached to the board, so that's going to be my boot drive. It's uh, essentially booting off a 4 gig USB. Um, so it's a fairly small board. There's 16 gigs of RAM in there. It's a fanless uh, CPU, but I added a fan just to keep things cool. I mean, it doesn't add much power draw. I'm using all six SATA ports on this board. There's five right there, and there's a single eSATA. There's a single eSATA in the back, which I have converted to SATA. I just bought a like a $1 converter. So that's showing the hardware. Uh, let's see if you can show the drives. They're all Samsung 2 terabyte F4 EGs, um, or HD 204 UIs. Um, they're, they're selling for about 160 right now, but I bought them all when they were 80 bucks. So that's the hardware on this thing. It's a huge case. It's actually fairly quiet for the size. Um, it came with four extremely loud fans. I replaced them with three uh, 120 mil fans instead, and it's way quieter now. Um, basically, the four fans were on inside right here. I recommend you just buy those three fans for about 15 bucks. I'll have it linked. You can buy all those fans together on uh, on Newegg, and then you place them in the front instead. Uh, it was kind of a challenge to get it all the fans in there. You, but you got just—I uh, don't even think it was shown in the manual of this thing how to get them in there. But I figured it out. Got the fans in there. The fan. What's great is the fans are directly on the hard drives to keep them cool. So this is the FreeNAS web interface. Um, essentially, it's on my local network. I ported it out so I can view it wherever I want. Um, let me show the important stuff. This is storage. This is where you're going to create your Z pools. I have a single uh, RAID, RAID, which is creating a Z pool, but you can put multiple things into a single Z pool and it all creates one mount point. And then from that Z pool, you can create um, volumes. I have another volume created in that Z pool, which is my web backup volume. It uh, backs up my web servers. I have that snapshotted every night so I can basically go back to any day in time um, and set set up my web server back to that same exact time, at least my web directory and the uh, databases. Um, some important things you want to go to is you want to go to settings, email, and make sure you get your email set up. I, have, I use Gmail, so um, you can have that all set up. Make sure you do that so that you get email reports of stuff. Uh, if you have a UPS like I do, you also want to go to services, UPS, and you want to edit these options. Uh, if you just search online, I'll, I'll kind of have a little bit of notes on what you want to put in here. Um, basically, you plug in the U USB for your UPS, and then it'll it'll show you a notification down here in the little console thing. So have that turned on. You'll see a little notification, and then that will be your that will be your port to put in. It's usually like dash dev dash ugen and then some number. So it'll, it'll show up and then you want to put that in here. Uh, I have it set so that this my free NAS box will automatically turn off to keep everything safe uh, before the before the um, UPS runs out of juice. So I've had I've actually had the power go out on me a couple times and I've always get email reports of it which is great to know that everything on my network is still up. Uh, power's got on, gone out on me just you know for a brief second, a couple of times. Everything else in the house goes off, but this stuff in my room stays on, and I get email reports when it goes back on. So uh, it's it's good um, it's good a good safety net to keep things on. So that's basically it. The hardware and the software for FreeNAS. Um, I'll have everything uh, linked in my description on how to set this up and uh, what parts to buy.